great thing about sort of software or anything which just involves uh, intellectual capital of you, capital of you and your friends, you and a few friends, is that you can just do it. So that's why you know doing some sort of internet thing or software thing is is great as an initial um, company to create. And that's why Zip2 and PayPal they they gave me the capital to attempt to do more capital intense uh, activities. Um, I mean, in, as far as idea generation, I think. Um, and I tend to think of things from a sort of physics standpoint, like from a first principle standpoint, what would be the best way to accomplish something um, and then pursue that. Um, so, and, and that's also a good way to determine if, there's a, if, if, if something's far from its optimum. Um, and um, like on, on rockets, for example, um, one could say, oh, you know, you could reason by analogy and say the rocket's going to cost a certain amount because that's what prior rockets have cost. Or you can say, well, what is a rocket made of? What are the material constituents? What, are those mis what do they weigh? What, what's the cost per unit mass? And that, that sets the limit asymptotically for what a rocket can be. So if you can figure out some creative way to rearrange those elements into a rocket shape, then you can uh, achieve a, a much better outcome. That's the first principles approach. Um, and I think also just combining um, ideas from different industries is really helpful for innovation. So you know, what, what have people discovered in one industry, and can that be applied to other industries? That's, um, I think, also a great source of ideas. Um, but but you, you usually just struggle on a solution, and um, you know, try, try a bunch of things. Some of them don't work, and some of them, and you know, most of them don't work, and occasionally one does. <laughs>